Good morning, folks. Today we begin to truly see the departure of the large active region and the largest sunspot of 2016. Earth facing quiet dominated him. Incoming, we have a bit more that will peek in on momentarily. We've also got interesting video and top weather stories. When we come to spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on our star to be calm facing Earth once more. We see only slight movements associated with normal, non-eruptive activity, and so it is no surprise that when we come to the X-ray flux, we find a little impulsive sea flare as the top flash of the day. It is a true nod to the sun's inability to fire at Earth when three separate delta-class magnetic regions within that sunspot group remain silent. Bet he fires when he exits. Across the disk, we've got those new spots I mentioned. Magnetic analysis coming in a day or two. Solar wind, yet another segment of the stream. Weak in and of itself, but we've taken about seven or eight stream segments in the last four days. We'll see if this is enough to cause further reverberations in Earth's field today. Southern departing coronal holes sent those streams. Northern ones sending its now to arrive in a day or two, but more importantly, the earthquakes continue. Top story of the day there is in Japan. Same area hit by a deadly 6.2 the day earlier took one far more powerful, a magnitude 7. Damage and death tolls are not in yet, but they are not going to be good. Landslides, homes destroyed, rescues underway. Best of luck, everyone. Cool science to share with you today. This is what it looks like when heat transfers through a semiconducting crystal slowed down to the picosecond scales. Super cool. Let's get to the weather and begin with the lows that cropped up in the Middle East last week. Drove extreme weather conditions from Iran to Saudi Arabia with winds, flash flooding, damage to infrastructure and agriculture. Watch how for days on end the line of moisture can't seem to find its way out of the desert. For parts of Iran, technically, he's still trying to find an exit. Hard hit Pakistan is up next, unfortunately. Let's take a look at what's happening in the United States. Low over the south, low out east over the Atlantic to the right. Now when I switch from pressure to temperature, we can see how the wind drive circling these systems is vital to what sort of temperature you'll have that day. It won't make summer out of winter, but you get the idea there. Strong gradients driven by the earth spots. The system over land has already dropped a foot of snow in some areas and that's going to continue while the eastern edge of the precipitation could actually see severe storms and tornadoes tonight. Eyes open. The weather notes of late include major hailstorms taking out homes and crops in Vietnam. That's the system that clipped the regions westward the last few days. And China. Snow has shut down parts of the country with 300 vehicles stranded just on this highway alone. You know, it's not blazing hot in New Mexico right now, but it beats being stranded in a snowed-in car in the middle of northern China. Seen commentary on learning more about the wind map stuff? Well, website members can find Deeper Look episode 26 from last year, 2015, is all about the wind map and those current conditions and how to read it. And of course, it is Saturday today, so we've got our Fly on the Wall podcast coming this morning. We'll post for you in just a few hours. We've got Europe and Down Under on there before we hit the shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.